America's advent of democracy was ushered in by the 1993 constitution, known as the interim constitution. Years later, we have developed the 1996 constitution, which is known as the Republic of South Africa's constitution of 1996. In commemorating 20 years of democracy this year, 2014, we speak to the likes of uh, Rami Chweni, who is a beneficiary of this democracy. Ausiligai. Kehwanokai. Kehwanokai. Uh, before we get into um, the impact of uh, the interim constitution, the now constitution, and the uh, commemorating of the 20 years of democracy, how did you work out your career? Or Yo, career wise, I started 20 years ago. Um, yeah, uh, just about. Um, and I started on TV. Well, I sing as well, I'm a singer. So. Oh. Um, but for TV, I think my my biggest role was only in 2000 when I joined Backstage. That was 14 years ago. But before that, I've just been acting all over the place, trying to find my feet, find my middle ground, and sing a lot, yeah. L let's talk about finding your feet in this industry. How easy is it for one to find their feet? Yo, um, it is not easy, but you just have to push, you know. Um, which is some one of the things that um, the now generations can kind of lack. Mm. They don't know that you have to work hard, you have to invest, you have to rehearse a lot, you have to practice your craft, you have to keep acting even when there's no movie or drama to act in because you need to sharpen your skills and sharpen your craft. So you do pay a, a lot of debts, you know, you, you do pay your dues mm. in a way, yeah. Um, I was born in Sechero, um, yeah, and then my family moved to Lebo uh in 1984. Mm. No, I'm lying, in 1989. Yes, in 1984, we just moved from one zone to another zone, but still in Sechero. But then um, I went to boarding school when I was 10, and... I never returned home <laughs> since. Since then? Yeah. Um, 27th April, 1994. What do you remember about that day? Uh, I was at home. I just had my first child. She was two months old, and I took her with me so that I don't have to stand too long in the queue. <laughs> Acting. <laughs> Acting. <laughs> it works. And yeah, and I remember I went and cast my vote. Block B, Koloa Homoko Derek Kobe High School. Mm. Yeah. Oh, look, we, I, I, I particularly think that people, when they, they had to cast their first vote, we, they had mixed views um, about the then parties that uh, formed the interim constitution. What were your views politically? Uh, in 1994, it was easy. We knew that, you know, uh, there was that whole thing that parties had to be formed. There had to be a certain amount of parties to form a ballot paper. But I don't think people were confused about which party they were going to vote for. I mean, when I walked in, I looked at the list and I was laughing. I mean, we had Kiss Party, we had Soccer Party, we had uh, my auntie's party. Everyone just had a party, you know, a diva's party. But you know, it was quite interesting. But I don't think anyone was confused. We knew which party we were going to vote for. And that's exactly what we did. So you vote 27th April 1994. Yep. Um, freedom to you. What did freedom to you mean then? It meant everything. It meant that I get to do a whole lot of things that um, I was not able to do. Some of the things that my parents never got the opportunity to do. Mm. Get to go to some places that a whole lot of other black people never used to go to. You know, it meant opportunity for me. It meant... Um, um, another level, it was a level up to be able to to be my best and to explore my best without having to be, uh, to, to have this oppression hanging over me. So that means each and everything that I'm, I'm set to do from then on, truly and completely dependent on me. So I cannot blame anyone else for my failures. That means each and every success is on me. Is on you and you had to be yeah. a part of it. Absolutely. For, for, for Banabahao, um, after 20 years now yeah. today we look at education and how it's improved or how other people can differ with that how about Isa Skolong what is it that you look you look forward to okay, did, you, did you check out the curriculums go Skolong and you say look Naki Barile I had bantu to education and therefore I want better for you what, what is it that you look forward um, well 
Right now, when, when I went to look for schools for my kids, I mean, I already knew which school I wanted, even before I had kids, you know. I knew, okay, I'm going to take them to this school, and that's exactly what I did, because I like this school. I remember when I was in my high school, this particular school, they came to to play games, Corina, mm. and I was like, wow, I want my kids to go to this school. Wow. Something and that you yeah, never had. Yeah, and I took them there. Mm. And, yeah. and uh, do, do you see any change? Do you, is, is there a generation difference between born now um, and you? Yes, there is. Yo, there is a lot of, there's a lot of difference because um, they always say, right now we are hanging on to the old dream mm. of what the political parties mean to us. And but now they don't have those hang-ups, you know. But it is important that we all, uh, I always have to remind them, teach them, and tell them, them how everything went on about. So they are away. They're very in tune. They know what they want. And both my daughters are voting for the first time this year. Oh. And yeah, and they're very excited. They're very excited they're about really excited it. Vote. Have you given them ad advice as to how they should cast their vote? Uh, no, not even. I think their mind is made up. They know what they want to vote for. Uh. Yeah, they know who to vote for. And yeah, I don't even be like, I want to go in with you in, and see what you're going to do. No, I know they're <laughs> set. Their minds, their minds are set. Mm. Um, another, another thing that you do is that you play a role within the ANC. Tell us about that. Okay. Well, my role in the ANC, first, I'm a member of the ANC, card carrying member of the ANC, Amanda, Amanda Viva Comrade. And um, I belong to the Four Ways branch. And I'm in the BEC there for the mother body. And I'm also in the Women's League. And I'm the secretary of the Women's League and also obviously in the BEC. And yeah, and we're fighting a lot with that, those other people. Mm. What is it that ways. you're fighting for? <laughs> what is it that you're fighting for? Let's, let's talk about it. Um, I think um, we just need to remind a lot of um, our people because I think there's a, there's a gap. There's a gap between someone who's over 50 years old and someone who's in their 30s and someone who's in their 20s. So I think we need to be focusing more on the people who are like in their 30s and their 20s because those are more, who are the, uh, those are the people who kind of got, the 30s that got the tail end of the, of the actual struggle because then we're going into democracy. And then the bone freeze, goodness, I mean, they don't owe anybody anything, anything, you know, so to speak. So it's, 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 it's up to us to keep reminding them just because you live in four ways, just because you go to this particular school that, you know, you've got a lot of opportunities and advantages. It doesn't mean they just came on a silver platter like that. Mm. And we need to also make sure that the same standards that we live in in four ways that would apply to someone who lives in Deep Slot, someone who lives in Soweto, someone who lives in Tembisa, someone who lives in Luwaho, Musishiro, it doesn't matter. Mm. And this is where we are going. So it is not, it's not ANC for you alone, it's ANC for, for us. us. So we need to preserve that and know that we go beyond 2014. We still have 2024, 10 years from now, where will we be as a country? Mm. And where will we be as the ANC? And we need to invest in that. We need young leaders to rise up, stand up, and say, times have changed, and I do not dispute that. They've changed, the struggles are different, but the struggle is still there. We've got economic struggle, we've got education, education. struggle, we've got health, health, we've got land, we've got all these things that they still need a lot of taking care of. And we want our people to go to school, we want our people to learn, to empower themselves, to, to be equipped so that we can take the country forward. Mm. Yeah. For, for a young leader watching this, um, why is it important to vote? It is important to vote because as a young leader, if you do not vote, you're basically saying, I waive my, my right to be able to speak out, to speak my mind, you know? So that, that is why back in the day when we were trying to get people to vote, we were saying, when you don't vote, you're still not voting. You choose to keep mum. That means anything and everything that happens in, in, in your environment, in your country, you do not have a say because you refuse to have a say. So each and, and every vote does count. It makes a big difference. So it is important for the young people to go out there, stand in queues, stand in those lines, take your iPad, take your game, take your PS, whatever. 
take anything that will keep you busy, but stay in that queue until you get into the ballot box. Until you get into the ballot box. Yeah. Um, a last message for um, the generation, um, say 10 years from now, that watches this video. 10 years from now, fast forward to 2024, the first thing that will be my main concern is that I still look good. <laughs> 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 okay, seriously though. <laughs> seriously though. Um, all the young people that will be watching this video in at like 10 years later, they must, mm. still, they must always remember, the struggle continues. Aluta continua. Aluta continua. It will change time and time and again. But remember, we have to hold on and keep strong and know that it is entirely up to us to make sure that South Africa keeps moving forward like we started 20 years ago. Like we started 20 years ago. Thank you very much for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you. And that's how we ended. Rami Chweni, a legend in her own right. Yes, she is also casting her vote this. And two of her daughters are actually casting the vote. So remember that it is very, very important to vote. And this is not an ANC for where. Nakapa for na. It's an ANC for us. A yeah. better life for all. This is ANC GTV. Thank you.